Entertainment news served up. Welcome to Infoground, your daily dose of celeb scoop. Let's check this out. Amber Rose accuses Kamala Harris of using Megan the Stallion to pander to black people. Amber Rose, the queen of controversy, is at it again. This time, she's coming for Kamala Harris, accusing her of using Megan the Stallion as a pawn to win over black voters. The firebrand media personality stopped by Adam Ross's live stream on Saturday, August 3rd, to share her thoughts on both Kamala and Megan. She kicked things off by saying that she liked the Austin rapper, even saying she was a good person. This is where the pleasantries ended, however, when she added, I think that she's pondering to black people. I think that she thinks that is what black people want to see in order to vote for her. And I think that's absolute bull. I think that people in general just want to know the policies. She continued, all that, you know, the extra stuff, it's cool, you know, a concert and stuff like that. But what about the policies? How are you going to make America great again? No pun intended. Check out the sleep. What do you think about uh, Kamala like having Megan the Stallion uh, twerk? And, and, you know, what, what, what were your thoughts on that? Well, I mean, look, it's, you know, I think I like Megan. I think she's a good person. Um, I think that she is pandering to black people. Um, I think that she thinks that that's what black people want to see in order to vote for her. And I think it's absolute bullshit. I mean, you know, um, I think that people in general just want to know the policies. All that, you know, the the extra stuff, it's like, it's cool. It's like a, you know, a concert and stuff like that. But what about the policies? How are you going to make America great again? No pun intended. But here's the thing. Megan's performance was everything and more. She slayed the stage in the Democrat blue suits, performing hits like Girls in the Oud and Savage with backup dancers and plenty of you know what shaking and let's not forget our iconic audits for Aris chant of course this led to discussion about twerking online and eight being lobbed away for it but meg still stands firm in her stance there was fake mad that i was popping it for kamala megan told the crowd two days later at lola palooza 2024 i don't think they heard what she said kamala said she wants a ceasefire kamala said she supports women's rights Kamala said she's tired of this high ass gas prices. Amber, on the other hand, is still riding the Trump train, releasing a cringe worthy music video with Fogiato Blue. Like, girl, what are you even doing? Anyway, it's clear Amber's got some strong opinions, but we're over here living for Megan's unapologetic energy. Who is with us? And on more entertainment news, Big Sean explains why he hasn't married Jenny Aiko yet, despite them sharing a child. In a juicy interview with Charlemagne the God, Big Sean got real about his nearly decade-long relationship with Jenna Aiko. Despite sharing an adorable mini-me, Noah, the couple is still not married and Sean is explaining why. Check out the clip of the interview. What's stopping y'all from getting married? Oh, y'all already did one of those secret industry weddings. <laughs> No, no, there has not been a secret industry marriage. Um, I think that it's a, it's a, it's a little personal, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? But just like to be real with you, just like any people who have dealt with love, we've had our ups and downs, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And I think it's still finding the right navigation through it all. Um, I don't know if, like, if, to me, marriage symbolizes, like, the best relationship. You know, people be like, oh, you got to get married. To me, I feel like having a relationship is first and foremost, and, like, marriage is a byproduct of that. And I feel like a lot of people get the idea of, like, oh, you have to get married, but then it's like, to me, that's almost a fear-based way of thinking, too, because then people be getting divorced. Mm-hmm. The divorce rate's so fucking high. And uh, I am someone who, I'm not like discounting anything, and I'm not saying that we aren't gonna get married. But what I'm saying is, is that it's just, I would like to do a lot. I would like to, and I don't like putting our personal business out there like that either. But uh, there's a lot of work that needs to be done, I feel like, 
uh, into marriage like it's a tiktok trend it's all about building a solid relationship first saying marriage symbolizes the best relationship i don't want to get married just because people are like oh you gotta get married and let's be real with a divorce rate higher than kanye's ego sean's got a point the couple began dating in 2016 shortly after sean's relationship with pop star ariana grande ended Aiko also has another child from a past relationship with R&B singer Orion, who is the younger brother of Omarion. Sean's comments come shortly after a marriage-related moment between the couple went viral during a concert in Los Angeles. While the Detroit native performed his verse from their 2013 collaboration, Beware, rapping the line, Kept my phone on silent ever since you got a ring, Aiko replied, What ring? while bringing attention to our lack of a wedding ring. But seriously, how do you not have a ring put on Jenna's finger? Anyways, there you have it folks. Big Sean is taking his time and we are over here living for their love story. On more entertainment news, Nicki Minaj accused of shading eye spice over her Instagram comments. Nicki Minaj is serving up a side of shade and eye spice is the main course. The drama started when Nikki posted a vintage pic of herself nearly 20 years ago before she rose to superstardom, captioning it 17 years ago, crimped my own hair, did my own makeup, two padded brass to make my booze bigger, babs. Eagle Eye fans noticed that Nikki liked comments from other celebs but Ice Spice's comments was left hanging. And to make matters messier, Ice's comments has vanished into thin air. Did Nikki delete it or did Ice Spice take it down herself? The plot thickens. Fans on social media were quick to react to the apparent shade, with one commenting, She's the only one without a like, Nikki is sick. A third user came to Ice's defense and claimed that Nikki had grown envious of the munch eat maker. She's taking Nikki's spot, she already won. Nikki is 40 plus, her run has to end just like Beyonce's and all the greats. Oh, and let's not forget when text messages of Ice Spice expressing frustration at Nikki over the Barbie World collab got leaked. I don't really think she cares about shit like that coming from a random girl, the Y2K rapper said of Minaj. Well, what do you know? Nikki might have cared after all. Stay tuned for more updates on the Spicy Celeb feud. That is the wrap guys, please like this video, share your thoughts in the comment section and subscribe to receive more juicy updates from us.